Hey everybody, Lori Bishop here from Become Studios, and I'm here to talk about 10 tips that'll help you get ready for your photo shoot. Tip number one, that would be two. Tip number one, drink a lot of water the day before your shoot, even a couple days before your shoot. It's gonna keep your skin really clear. It's gonna keep your eyes bright. And when you're hydrated, you feel really good and you want to feel good on shoot day. Tip number two, don't get a haircut the day before your shoot, unless it's a trim or you have a really strong geometric bold line. Hair generally looks better a little bit softer in a shoot when it moves around a little bit. It's kind of natural looking. And that also gives the stylist something to work with if it's a little bit grown out. So avoid haircuts the day before. Tip number three, when you're applying makeup for a photo shoot, go with your natural look. However, go with a nighttime look on your eyes and a deeper lipstick on your lips. You just want people staying focused on your face and you want them noticing your eyes, number one, so that they can connect with you. Tip number four, this is wardrobe. Get into your closet and start looking at everything in there, especially after the past couple of years. There may be things that just don't fit anymore, literally and figuratively. So start pulling stuff out, put it on your bed, hang it on the edge of the closet and just evaluate and see if the colors you currently have are on brand if you're going for a business headshot or if the colors still suit you, maybe your hair color changed over the past couple of years. It's a good time to actually run through your closet and see what fits, what doesn't fit, what's on brand, what's off brand. Don't bring anything that doesn't feel good on and don't bring anything that's too loose and baggy. You want something that fits really well where we can see the sides of your body. Turtlenecks cut you off right at the right at the head. And if you're worried about how your neck looks, I'll take care of that. You don't even have to worry about it. I've got great posing to help with that. What I suggest is something more like this, a nice V-neck or even a scoop neck. Doesn't have to be this low. One more tip about wardrobe is business headshots tend to look more professional if your shoulders are covered. Now, I'm on the fence about that because things have changed recently where business casual is way more acceptable. So if a sleeveless shirt is your vibe and you love your arms, go for it, wear the sleeveless shirt. Be sure though that the arms are well covered. I don't wanna see any bra underneath the scoop of your shirt and just make sure it fits really well and that your bra lines are nicely hidden. Tip number seven, jewelry and accessories. Um, if your vibe is like big chunky jewelry and fabulous pieces, maybe you're a jewelry designer or you're a fashion stylist, go for it. You wanna feel really comfortable in what you're wearing, but make sure it suits you. Um, I go for more understated, so one of my favorite pieces to wear is just a simple necklace. Sometimes I wear hoops, sometimes I wear a little bit of color. But again, I want somebody looking at my face. I don't want them seeing everything around. Tip number eight, things not to bring. So you wanna avoid big, bold, high contrast patterns that are gonna steal the show. I want people to look at your face. I don't want them looking at your clothes. For example, this isn't big and bold. It's about as big and bold as I get, but this is a little high contrast and your eyes are gonna look at that before my face. So that one gets left at home. Another one that I probably wouldn't wear is super bright, again, this is for headshots, super bright, a lot of activity on the sleeves. The color's not um, fighting so much, but there's just so much activity. Again, I'd probably leave this one at home and go for a simpler color. So leave the big, bold, high contrast patterns at home. Also avoid um, little tiny grids. So if there's a bunch of little checkers or squares and they're really dark and really light, that doesn't look great on camera. It creates a moiré effect, which has your eyes kind of buzzing, which again will detract attention from you and bring attention to, to your outfit. Tip number nine, bring five or six options clothing options. 
bring some jackets, bring some shirts. Um, it's a headshot, so you don't need to bring a lot of different pants, but whatever's comfortable there. And we can give you a couple different looks by just adding a jacket. So look number one is a beautiful shirt. Voila. Look number two, you throw in a jacket, you have a whole different vibe. That looks nice. Tip number 10, don't worry. I've got your back. I've got your front, I've got your sides. I'm gonna give you posing guidance from the beginning of the shoot to the end, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. I know it can be really nerve wracking to step in front of the camera, but I will be with you throughout the entire shoot, giving you guidance, giving you a good laugh, and we'll get through it together. I'm looking forward to seeing you.